Hey, blessings, 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 prayer warriors. God bless you on this Friday, July 28th. Man, we're just about done. A few more days. But anyway, God is good. Thank you again for taking time out of your busy schedule to hang out a little bit with me in these few minutes together. We, with another group of 50, 100, 150, 200 people are joined together and taking this time to pray for nations, taking this time to pray for individuals, prayer requests. It's real good. Amen. So our Bible reading is Acts 28, 1 through 16. And this is when they're on that island, right? And Paul goes, he's working like anybody else. He's gathering sticks. If they only knew who this man was, right? And what happens? A viper bites him and he shakes it off and suffers no harm. And all of a sudden they start worshiping him. And he said, no, don't worship me. And all of a sudden it causes revival on that island. That's the way healing causes revival. I love it. I love it. I love it. You remember it says if they, they'll take up serpents, if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not harm them. That's what it means. Does it go mean to pick up a snake and play with a snake? There are cuckoo that do that. Anyway, let's continue on. So today we're praying for Guyana. Population 12.8 million, only 0.7% evangelical Christians. Number 111 on your prayer chart. The team there are asking for prayer in dangerous circumstances. Pray for our country, they ask, and for the political situation that is becoming increasingly fragile. Boy, have you noticed when we look at these different nations, the, the whole world is becoming fragile. It says the world would be full of violence, wars and rumors of wars. They ain't kidding, right? Uh, peaceful pr negotiations did not progress and demonstrations began let God's kingdom come and let his will be done in this area. Amen. In the United States, we're praying for West Virginia, back to 39% evangelical Christians of 1.8 million people. And then Maryland, 6 million people, 18%. Come back to the West Coast there, uh, East Coast, excuse me. And then our prayer focus for today is the homeless. You know, there are real people that are homeless, that, that need prayer. Amen? All right, let's go ahead and pray. Got everything said here. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we do thank you for this new day, and we thank you for the joy of our salvation. Father, we always start with praise to you. We think of Abraham who considered not the circumstance, but he gave glory to God. So we're not going to consider the circumstance of what's going on in Washington or our bodies or our state or our young people. We're going to give you glory that you can work in Washington. You can work in Trenton. You can work in our lives and you can work in our families' lives. So we praise you on this new fine day. We exalt you and honor you for you alone are the only one that deserves praise and you're the only one that can handle praise. None of us can, Lord. None of us can. We thank you for that, that we serve you, a true God, a loving God, an awesome God. Amen. Amen. Lord, we lift up Guyana. And as, as I just said, Lord, it seems like there's such disruptions everywhere. We look at the what's going on in Ukraine, Israel, what's going on with Iran and What's going on with the United States and North Korea and Russia? And it just goes on and on. And now here we read, that, you know, we don't hear much about this on the mainstream media. <clears throat> Excuse me. But Lord, we do pray for Guyana. They're asking for peace for their country. They're asking for the po political situation that w that's so fragile that it will calm down. Peaceful negotiations, Lord that demonstrations will not get ugly, Lord. Lord, we pray thy kingdom come, thy will be done here in Guyana as it is in heaven. Lord, many times as Americans, we think the Bible revolves around America. No, it doesn't. The Bible revolves around the world. Yes, Israel is the main hub. It's the, the centerpiece. 
but the Bible revolves around the whole world. For God so loved the world, you loved the world, Father, that you gave your only begotten Son. We lift up our world before you, Father, as we see wars and rumors of wars, as we see such pain, Lord, I can go on and on, the things I read, and I don't even spend that much time involved in it, but it's just there, Lord. Women being raped, uh, children being killed, child thrown in a garbage bag, uh, just horrible things. Maranatha, come, Lord Jesus, come. We pray for our very sick nation right now, Lord. We need help. We need medicine. We need you. Oh, God in heaven, help our nation. Help our leaders to see that power, absolute power, corrupts absolutely. That they would bow their knee to Jesus now. Because if they don't bow it now, they will bow it one day. And that day ain't going to be good. Hell from beneath is moved to meet thee at thy coming. It stirs up the dead, even the great. We don't want to see anyone go there, Lord. It's appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. We pray for presidents, prime ministers, queens, kings. We pray for senators, uh, congressmen and women, judges, governors, mayors, parliaments, Lord. We pray for our nation. We pray for our world, Lord. Help people to see. Help these people to get off their arrogance and humble themselves under the mighty hand of God. Lord, you taught me humility a long time ago, and I've stayed with it, Lord. I'm nothing. I'm just a donkey that you can speak through, Lord, and I am honored and privileged to be part of something greater than myself, to be hooked up with a team and work together to do something great for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. How few years we have on this earth. How few years to be arrogant. Oh, how stupid, how stupid, how stupid. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week and we pray over the needs of brothers and sisters and we just thank you, Lord, for healings, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for provision. We thank you for children coming home. We thank you as their children are being pressured with these agendas nowadays that they won't fall into that trap that they'll be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Thank you, thank you for that, Lord. Amen, amen. We lift up the homeless before you, Father. Father, there's some people that just don't want to work, but there are many that do want to work, Lord. And we pray for them, that you would give them jobs, a house, a place where they can go. We pray for them in Jesus' name, Lord. We lift up the homeless before you. I pray for my precious brothers and sisters. I pray your grace upon them, your peace upon them, your goodness upon them, Lord. I thank you for blessing me, blessing them. We pray one for another as your word tells us to do. Pray ye one for another. Lord, we love you and we honor you. And we thank you again for your goodness, your love. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Hey. God is good. Love you. Have a blessed Friday. Amen. And I'd love to see you up there tomorrow or tonight or right now. That'd be awesome. But if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Amen. God bless.